All right, y'all listen. I don't know where my mallet is. I know this is a running theme for me, but I really don't know where it is. I sat down, I'm ready to record, so. Hey girl. Aries, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valk and I'm going to be doing a general reading for this week. Now with any general reading, not everything may resonate with you. That's completely normal, right? Um, what I ask you to do for my type of readings is to rely on your intuition a little bit. Um, because I could be talking about a work-life situation. I, I would be using that as an example for the messages in, through tarot. But for how it's pertaining to you in your life, it could be talking about a relationship situation, right? So that's where I do ask you to rely on your intuition. That's the one part I do ask you to do when receiving this reading. Um, if this reading is of resonance to you, apparently I can't hold these cards today, Aries. If these, if this reading does resonate with you and gives you a, a sense of direction, I would really appreciate for you to give me a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel so much. But uh, I'm going to be shuffling three rows for you or laying out three rows for you. The first two rows are just going to be overall cards, uh, Aries. And then for your third row, we're going to be talking about... Uh, what spirit is suggesting for you to do this week to get to this to your maximum potential of energy right because i can talk about what's to come but if you don't keep that energy if you don't do the right take the right steps then you might uh you won't be able to get there right you won't be able to if you're just sitting there if i can talk about like blessings coming to you but you just sit there and wait for the blessings to come and you don't work on actively what spirit's suggesting for you to work on to get to that to those blessings right you won't be able to receive them so let's just jump into this reading now um for your first row we have the hermit card archangel raziel 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 um equaling to nine for numerology write that down aries and look it up for later the hermit card comes in the ten of earth as, uh, along with the knight of water for you aries so let's just jump into this now it's really a really good spread for your first row so we have when they have when you have the hermit card this is pretty self-explanatory right this is like a push for you to <sighs> hmm yeah let's get these clarifiers in actually yeah this is what i was feeling it's almost as if you're being pushed to uh areas you're almost being pushed to hermit away so you can claim more of your power or not claim more of your power but really have this be a really productive week for you, Aries, in whatever sense of the word. So if it's like, for in terms of work, you're really being suggested to hermit, so you can continue doing your work because I pulled the seven of fire along with the ace of seven of fire. Seven of coins along with, is that seven or eight? No, that's the eight of coins, y'all, that's early. Um, the eight of coins, and this is talking about contracts, right? So it's like a hermiting away, to work on your productivity like in terms of work and whatever like maybe like you need to like make a vision board however wherever you are at in your workplace you're being suggested to uh hermit away and to really work on yourself in that regard because you have the four of cups energy as well like this is to all, all talking about like a bountiful time it's going to be about this is going to be a very bountiful week for you and i feel like this is already like following through with something that's already been building up for a while i don't feel like this is something that's uh a shocker this has been like a build up for a long time now i feel you have the ten of i say this because we have the ten of earth with the knight of water as well the ten of earth i always associate with like cycles completing so when i see the ten of earth coming it's almost as if like a cycle completes where it's like you were working so hard to get to have something manifest and now you're finally starting to see like the physical results of it um it's almost like your uh fruit trees are finally bearing fruit in a sense because the ten of earth is talking about um happy family life financial security like an overall good setup right um i also want to point out we also have so many more clarifiers uh these are for the bottom um so for these three though <laughs> don't mind me just talking to the voices in my head right um Anyways, with the Ten of Earth, this is talking about, yeah, just overall good abundance card to match with that, maintaining with that hermit energy that we were talking about before. But I also want to point out this card talks about finding the magic in little things in life. So it's like, a, this is almost like, a, depending on your belief system when it comes to energy, I feel like thoughts are energy, actions are, like everything's energy, right? So if it's like, if you already see like this good energy, right? of where it's like this is a good week for productivity and your theme of the week also um was the moon card archangel haniel 
equaling to nine as well, because it's number 18 equaling to nine. So two different nines popping up for you, um, Aries. So definitely, I really do want to suggest to you to look up the number nine in numerology, because I feel like that's going, that's like the, uh, embodiment of what's happening to you this week um but yeah continuing on like if you already have like this good high vibrational energy where it's like your your guides are telling you it's like no her, this is a time for you to hermit away and really be productive a lot of good things are happening when the ten of earth comes in saying asking you to find the magic and little things in life they're asking you to find the magic and little things in life because it's like a you want to elevate this energy you want to continuously get this what like, add to the momentum of this energy we pulled and also with your knight of water this is just a really good card in terms of like this talks about social events so maybe aries you're making connections social connections maybe you are making business connections rather um maybe you're meeting like your person this week or like starting like the uh, beginnings of a connection of like a deep friendship or soul level connection um i say this because of your other cards down in the row so i will I don't want to just seem like I'm just doing that as like a cop out because I know everyone likes to say, oh, this is your person, so I'm like, whatever. I'll explain myself later. But I did pull clarifiers for your, finally for your last, uh, first row. Um, we have the Queen of Cups. Um, so yeah, really fulfilling. This is a fulfilling time for you, the Judgment card. So yeah, this goes back to what I was saying before, where it's just like you were doing the work to get this set up. You've been building these energies for a long time now. So it's like this is with ju when Judgment Day comes. <laughs> judgment Day comes. It's so dramatic. When it's like, it's almost as if like the efforts that you put in for however long, however this cycle happened for this 10 of earth, right? I was talking about cycles, however much energy you put into this cycle to create this, right? How much more and extra energy you add to this, how much more oomph, yeah, I don't know what oomph is, how much oomph you add um, to this energy, um, that's, you're going to be getting those blessings. It's like, if you really invested it into your trees and like fertilized, I don't know what else you do for trees to like help them bear fruit, but that same process, right? So if this is in regards to a person, maybe this person is going to start being more receptive towards you because you do have the Knight of Water. Um, and so going into this a little bit more, oh yeah, and for your last uh, card for your clarifier for your first row is the Six of Wands. So this is definitely a collaborative time for you. Um, I feel like, again, like I associate night, night cards with like youthful energy and so this is going to be like an exciting new adventure for you and i feel like a collective of people because it's like you see other wands there like you all have like your own wand that you're carrying i you can't see they have the knights there but we're gonna just pretend like there's a bunch of other knights there because that's how i see it for you in the spread like it's definitely a really good collaborative week for you um and i want to go back to the moon card for the overall theme for you like the moon card i feel like it's just like this is a time of where it's like this card itself, Archangel Haniel, and I, again, I want to remind you about the number nine again because it just popped up again in my head. Um, the reason why the moon card, I feel like, is so important for you, and I normally never do this for any um, reading, it just, your yours is unique in that way, Aries, is that I feel like this is just such a spiritual time for you this week. This is such a time of where you're going to be getting a lot of downloads of knowledge or where you, maybe not downloads of knowledge, but like, when I say downloads and knowledge, you're just having like a new perspective, right? Um, I just feel as if, yeah, um, it's your, this is just a week of where you come into realizations on things, your perspective changes, nine of swords. It's like something's revealed to you in yourself. You get insight in yourself of maybe learning about yourself through these good events happening. Maybe it's almost as if like, <laughs> it's kind of like graphic, but I'm getting goosebumps, but it's like almost as if like, you're crying finally because you're finally starting to see the fruits of your labor. It's like you walk out your walk out to your orchard after like a long struggle of like trying to get your trees to bear fruit and you finally start seeing apples and you just start s sitting on the floor sobbing and it starts revealing a lot for you. And what that reveals for you is just how truly powerful you are and realizing just how worthy you are because i feel like through this whole process of really trying to get your trees to bear fruit it was taking a toll on you you're getting a little bit you're questioning yourself you're maybe getting a little bit insecure in yourself you're like maybe is this even meant for me what am i doing you know you were questioning yourself so this has been like such an emotional time for you receiving these blessings so beautiful aries beautiful um for your second row we have the nine of water beautiful card like this is just like you can't get a more positive card other than like the sun i guess this is talking about your wishes coming true again like this is just a week of where you are starting like 
things are really just starting to look up for you. It's really good. Um, love life as well. Um, so it goes back to that nine of water energy as well. So definitely like in both aspects, whether it's in career or whether it's in love life or like family life, in terms of both fulfillment, like social, emotional, and like financial, like your needs are met in that way. The justice card comes in, Archangel Raguel, number eight as well. Write that down. A lot of numerology for you. A lot of archangels actually. Now that I'm noticing for your spread, which is lovely. Um, that just speaks of the energy that's around you right now, Aries. Um, but this card is just saying, um, doing what you know is right. So it's like, can, this is, this card comes in more so just asking you to continue on. You don't need to change anything. What you're doing is working. If you don't see your apples yet in your orchard, it, they're coming. I promise you. Um, the Awakening card comes in as well for you. you. Number three, write that down, Archangel Gabriel. This is, yeah, I think this just goes to what I was just explaining before, where it's just like these, once these good events come, or once these events come, it's really going to trigger a healing process for you because it's just like, you're going to get such a release and like really finding your power again with the Two of Wands and Emperor energy. You just really come into your own. And it's just, yeah, it's just such a, an emotional but beautiful time for you. I really feel just a lot of positive energy energy like it's such an it's going to be a really uplifting week for you Aries definitely for sure uh, do we need any more clarifiers but yeah with the um Gabe or uh, the awakening card like I feel like this is self-explanatory you just come into your own um this card does come in as a sense Gabriel does come in in the sense of where it's like a temporary standstill so for some of you Aries you may not see this could all just be from an energetic level right now yeah this all could be from coming from an energetic level right now so even if you don't physically see it things are coming in especially when it comes to i feel like more so social connections if like you feel like this person is not being receptive towards you yet it's coming i say this because the clarifiers we pulled for you i'm glad i did right four of four of wands which is like a marriage card right you can't <laughs> four of wands three of cups right and then ace of cups so this is straight up like emotional fulfillment this is just fulfillment in every sense of the word of a loving connection and when i say loving connection this can be in the love life like the nine of water is hinting at right if you're not already committed to somebody and if you are committed this could be just talking about a marriage as well because the nine of water does come in as a proposal of some kind so fabulous um but even with the like think of it in a wedding proposal it's still like a contract in a sense if we're going to like i guess take the uh sentimental part out of it so if it's like in terms of business like this goes back to again that knight of wands energy of where it's just like your crops are starting to just grow the ace of cups you're going to be like such good cards <laughs> and so with all that good stuff being said let's let's go back to let's ground ourselves a little bit how do we get to this greatness that we just talked about how do we maintain this how do you keep this energy so we can receive this this week to the best of our ability so your last row now the star card the hermit and then the uh, nine of swords inverted and this one this invert this one is upside down but obviously i want you to see the card because the imagery of it um so the star card this is again kind of like that push with the justice card um aries in the sense of where it's just like continuing on with what you're doing in the sense of where it's like don't change anything continue with your routine and if anything Add to your routine, add to more consistency. The Hermit card again came out for you. So again, such a push for you, Aries, to really, it's like one of those energies where it's just like, you lock yourself in your house for a year and you just write that book or you work on that. You know, it's very much so that energy where it's just like you lock yourself away from all these distractions so you can really build something. And then for your last card, your Nine of Swords energy, which was inverted, um, this card comes in where it's just kind of reaffirming of the hermit energy where it's just like, don't fight with people. Don't feed your energy into people that don't want to receive you. Don't, you know, don't give your energy away. Don't engage with people if they're not uplifting you, if, not, if they're not elevating you. I feel like the biggest disservice that you could do for yourself this week, uh, Aries, is allowing other people to ruin your peace because that's going to interrupt your energetic flow um but yeah that's the reading that i have for you aries i really hope this was helpful to you i loved this reading actually like sudden so, so many good things for you aries um, i'm gonna pull one more card for you um but yeah 
I really hope this reading was helpful. And do, again, <laughs> I'm gonna do a reminder, if this reading was helpful, please give me a subscribe because I would love to hear about it. And how, let me know how these cards resonate with you. How, which cards, which Archangel called out to you the most? Because you had Archangel Haniel, Archangel Raziel, Archangel Gabriel, and Archangel Raguel come forward. <laughs> and you're being asked to meditate. So I almost want to almost drive to you that like, some of y'all are being called to connect to your guides, your companions, your archangels, guardians, like whatever it is, your, your deities, whatever it is that you believe in, your matrons, patrons, whatever it is, I feel like you're really being called to it because you have so many elevated energies around you that's like the best thing you can do is hermit away and really meditate and like connect to these high vibrational energies, even just to these archangels. Yeah. Um, anyways, also the uh, awakening card equals to three for uh, Gabriel. So write that down, number three for numerology. But yeah, also remember all the numerology cards for you guys. I really feel drawn to remind you of that, Aries. But I'm going to close this reading out now. Um, I love you so much, Aries. And I really hope I can connect to you again soon. Bye.